You can send profiles who reply to your message through a webhook to any third-party CRM by means of Send Reply to Webhook plugin. Once reply is detected, then Helper will send profiles data, including replied text, to a third-party system via webhook. This plugin can be used with messaging action when reply detection is enabled in the message analyzer settings. as well as with a check for reply section. To install Send Reply to Webhook plugin, scroll down till the end of the settings, click Available optional plugins, and install the corresponding plugin. As you can see, it appeared for Check for Replies and Message to First Connections as well. It is also possible to install this plugin via the Plugin Store, Select Message Actions Extensions and install Send Reply to Webhook. Now let's set a webhook. I'm going to use Sepia webhook. So navigate to its website and create an account or log into yours. I am already logged in and when you are too, click Create Zap button. Select Webhooks by Zapier as an event that starts your Zap. In the Trigger Event field, select Catch a Hook and click on Continue button. As you can see, Zapier generated a URL to your webhook. Now you need to copy it and add it to Linked Helper. Paste the webhook URL to the settings of Send Reply to Webhook. And don't forget to make other adjustments such as enabling messaging export if needed or decreasing the number of columns for positions or educations. Now we need to process a single profile through Send Reply to Webhook so Zapier can get an example of data that Link Helper can push and get fields that you will need to set up later. I'm going to start the campaign and once Link Helper finds a replied profile in Message to First Connection section, they will be sent to our webhook. As you can see, a reply was detected by Linked Helper and a profile was sent to the replied sublist of the message to first connections action. Now we need to move back to Zapier and click Test Trigger button to check if it received any data from Linked Helper. And here appears all the profile's data, including a replied text. Now we need to decide where to move this data through the webhook. In this example, we will be sending data from Linked Helper to the Pipedrive CRM. So select Pipedrive under App Event and select Create Person under the Action Event. At this point, Zapier will ask you to log into your Pipedrive account. Now we need to match linked helper data with respective columns in Pipedrive. For name, I'm selecting full name option in linked helper. In the owner field, you have to choose your Pipedrive account. For getting a reply date, I'm choosing replied message sent at field from linked helper. To insert data for replied text line, I'm looking for the respective column in linked helper and LinkedIn URL line in Pipedrive corresponds to the profile URL field in Linked Helper. 
Click Continue button and Zapier will send this test profile to your Pipedrive account. Let's check it. Navigate to Pipedrive. Log into your account. Select Contact tab. I don't see here all the information that was sent from Lean Helper to my Zap. That's because I need to create additional custom fields. For example, I want the last message that I sent to Relate to be shown in Pipedrive. So I click Add a new field, give the field a name, and select text for the field type. Click Save button and go back to the pair webhook to refresh the fields. As you can see, the newly created field was added, and now we need to select the corresponding data from Linked Helper. In my case, it's last received message text, so that I can see which of my messages I got a reply to. Click Retest Step button to send this contact with the new field to Pipedrive. It is also a good idea to give your Zap a meaningful name, especially if you are planning to have several webhooks. When the webhook is set and tested, you can publish it. Name a version of the webhook and click Publish button. Once your Zap is turned on, you can go back to your campaign in Linked Helper and run it. Linked Helper will send replied profiles to your Zap and then to Pipedrive CRM. You can also add the same webhook URL to check for replies action to get profiles who reply to your previous message as well. You can send an unlimited amount of replied profiles to a webhook with a Pro license. If you use a standard one, you can send only 20 profiles a day. Also, if you are going to use Zapier as well, you'll need to buy an appropriate subscription plan to transfer the needed number of replied contacts per month. For example, with a free plan, you can send 100 contacts a month and 750 with a starter plan. Mm -hmm. 